this is the third video from the chapter elements of group 13 14 and 15 today the point that we have to see is bonding in compounds of group 13 14 15 elements this is page number 126 that we are studying now i've given the point that lighter elements form covalent bonds and heavy elements form ionic bond if you read it in the textbook you will understand the point what are we learning lighter elements are the elements which are present on the upper part in a particular group first second elements they are considered to be lighter elements the elements which are present on the lower part in a group those are called as or you can say sixth seventh period modestal elements they are heavy elements so lighter elements they form covalent bonds we know the concept of covalent bond that it is formed by sharing of electrons but the elements which are present on the top part those are lighter they've got smaller atomic size small atomic number more small atomic size and the ionization enthalpy of these elements is high as outermost electrons are attracted to the nucleus the ionization enthalpy is high ionization potential is high and these outermost electrons cannot be removed to form ionic bonds hence they have tendency to form covalent bonds covalent bonds are formed by sharing of electrons but electrons are not lost by lighter elements they are not ready to lose the electrons they will share the electrons with the other species with the other element and they will form covalent bonds we have a point that lighter elements are forming covalent bonds but heavy elements at the heavy elements mother what is the case what is the situation heavy elements they have got high atomic number atomic size also high and outermost electrons are not easily attracted to the nucleus because of that the ionization enthalpy is small we have studied what is ionization enthalpy or potential in periodic table chapter so in heavy elements as outermost electrons can be lost easily because attraction of nucleus and those valence electrons are poor as size is bigger so all the factors are correlated and as these valence electrons can be lost easily they have tendency to form ionic bonds ionic bonds mother kai situation hai the electrons are either lost or gained so they have got tendency to lose the electrons and form ionic bonds heavy elements again third point says that first elements do not have t orbitals but down elements have t orbitals to expand their octate again one more reason that lighter elements major first elements starting made in any group the elements which are present on the upper part they are considered to be lighter elements so i have written first elements major verche upper elements adiyanar elements in a group those elements they are not having d orbitals so if you write electronic configuration of upper elements where they are elements you will find ki tenchi electronic configuration made 3d ha orbital it does nahi or 4d orbital nahi it or 5d nahi it upper lighter elements made so because of that as they don't have d orbitals they cannot expand their octate now what is the meaning of expand their octate this means <clears throat> this means that electron what is expanding the octate octate is completion of eight electrons ata ekadya element madhe when d orbital is available to vacant zari asla tari electrons from if you consider 3d orbital electron from 3s or 3p can jump into 3d and this process is called as excitation there is jumping of electron from s or p into d but 
त्याच्यासाठी काय पाहिजे यु नीड टी ओर व्हायटल्स ही सिच्युएशन जर सेकंड शेलमध्ये असेल तर सेकंड शेल डज नॉट कंटेन डी ओर व्हायटल सेकंड शेल फक्त टू एस अँड टू पीपर्यंत लिमिटेड असतो बट वेन यू हॅव थर्ड शेल थर्ड शेलमध्ये इफ द इलेक्ट्रॉन इज प्रेझेंट इन थ्री एस इट कॅन शो इट्स जम्पिंग इन टू थ्री डी सो फॉर एनी एलिमेंट इफ डी ऑर्बायटल्स आर प्रेझेंट दॅट डी ऑर्बायटल्स क्रिएट अनपॅड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच कॅन पार्टिसिपेट इन बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन अँड कम्प्लीट द ऑक्टेट तो जस्ट नो ॲट दिस स्टेज यू मस्ट रिमेंबर दॅट एक्सपॅन्ड द ऑक्टेट चा मीनिंग काय आहे दॅट इलेक्ट्रॉन विल शो जम्पिंग फ्रॉम एस ऑर पी ऑर्बायटल इन टू वेकंट डी ऑर्बायटल्स अँड इन वेकंट डी ऑर्बायटल्स दे विल गेट अरेंज्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अनपॅड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स म्हणजे डी सप्शलमध्ये इलेक्ट्रॉन्स अनपॅड राहणार सिंगल 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 राहणार आता हे सिंगल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स आले म्हणजे दे विल पार्टिसिपेट इन बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन दे विल पार्टिसिपेट इन बॉन्डिंग दिस इज वॉट इज कॉल्ड ॲज एक्सपँडिंग द ऑक्टेट दॅट इज जम्पिंग अँड क्रिएटिंग अनपॅड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स दिस इज वॉट यू कॉल ॲज एक्सपँड द ऑक्टेट now next point that we have to see is the reactions reactions we have to study <clears throat> first is again comparative study we have to do group 13 elements with oxygen we have to see the reaction group 13 elements they combine with oxygen and form oxides mark the oxides which are formed are of the type e2 o3 in book the reaction is given as general reaction and in spite of element in spite of the particular element they have considered only e so the oxide is of e2o3 type so i have tried reaction of boron and aluminum here i have shown the reaction so four times boron combines with three times oxygen when heated forms b2o3 this is boron oxide you can see the formula e2o3 so when you particularly use an element it becomes b2o3 this is boron an element which belongs to group 13 then we can try with aluminum boron cha khali yanara next aluminum aluminum reacts with oxygen same type of reaction produces aluminum oxide al2o3 that was b2o3 this becomes al2o3 two times the elements are formed now consider group 14 elements group 14 elements again combine with oxygen on heating or you can say they react with oxygen or air after heating and they form two types of oxides at the 14th elements we are knowing we have got carbon silicon germanium tin lead these are the elements we have seen the elements the oxide formed are of the type eo or eo2 म्हणजे मोनॉक्साईड और डायऑक्साईड टाईपचे कंपाऊंड फॉर्म होतात मग मोनॉक्साईड जर फॉर्म होत असेल तर ऑक्सिजन विल बी टेकन हाफ टाईम्स सो वी हॅव गॉट अ रिॲक्शन ऑफ कार्बन हिअर कार्बन कंबाईन्स विथ हाफ ओ टू अँड फॉर्म्स सी ओ हाफ ओ टू बिकम्स हाफ ओ टू म्हणजे ऑक्सिजन आपण दोन वेळा घेतला किती हाफ आणि हाफ हाफ आणि हे हाफ काय झाले वन सो यू गेट वन ॲटम ऑफ ऑक्सिजन इन द प्रोडक्ट ॲज सी ओ सिमिलरली सी ओ टू इज फॉर्म वेन कार्बन रिॲक्ट्स विथ ओ टू फॉर्मिंग सी ओ टू दिस इज अगेन ऑक्साईड फॉर्म ऑफ द टाईप ई ओ टू डाय ऑक्साईड अगेन सिलिकॉन जस्ट लाईक कार्बन कॅन कंबाईन विथ ओ टू फॉर्मिंग एस आय ओ टू सिलिकॉन डायऑक्साईड नेक्स्ट इज reaction of group 15 elements so again group 15 elements combine to form the oxides of again two types one is of the type e2o3 other is of the type e2o5 let's see the reaction of phosphorus it is just given in the book same as given in the book p4 phosphorus 
exist as tetraatomic form. P4 form of the exist hotho. So P4 plus 3 times O2 gives P4O6. This oxide is of the type E2O3. See formula although P2O3 na ya lela. Formula kaya lai P4O6. Pan zara pan tala simplest form madhe aand la. Tha the formula 4 and 6. Tala simple form madhe kaya zala 2 and 3. So it is oxide which will be considered of the type E2O3. Hmm? Next is we have phosphorus again combining with oxygen. 5 times O2 giving P4O10. This is phosphorus pentoxide. P4O10. Phosphorus pentoxide. Again, apanatta mount like ki formula E2O5 yale. But this is P4O10. Atta P4O10 la simplest common factor cardonzer. You write the formula. It becomes P2O5. But it exists as P4O10. So you call it as pentoxide only. We call it as phosphorus pentoxide only. P2O5. But to thya form madhe exist na hota. It exists as P4O10. See P2O5. Tara double kela P4O10. So name yacha phosphorus pentoxide as ahe. Pan to double form. You call it as dimer. Dimer cha form madhe to exist hota. Similarly arsenic exist as tetraatomic form AS4 combines with oxygen forming AS4 O6 bismuth 2 times bismuth combines with 3 times oxygen to form Bi2O3 so this is a particular B2Bi2O3 a particular oxide which is of the type E2O3 all are oxides so you must be very much familiar with the reactions you must be able to write the reactions again Next part which is given on page number 126 is the table 9.6 which is showing you the types of oxides which the elements of group 13, 14 and 15 can form. So they are forming three types of oxide. Right now you are not having that table in front of you. You can see it from the book. It is table number 9.6. Group 13 elements the forming oxide which can be either acidic or amphoteric or basic in nature. Acidic oxides are meaning mighty hai, manje, their pH will be less than 7. Basic manje, they are behaving as base. pH will be more than 7. Amphoteric oxides, amphoteric word we have done it in class also. Amphoteric manje, the oxides which have two nature. They can behave as acid also as well as base also. Such oxides are called as amphoteric oxide. So the table 9.6 is giving us information about the different oxides which the elements can form and what is the nature of the oxides. So go through the table. It may come for MCQ. So you should be very much familiar with the table as what is the type of oxide form, what is the nature of the oxide form. 